the Cabinet Secretary of Interior, and Director of Public Prosecutions, came together to talk about corruption in Kenya and in the region. The CS talked about how leaders have been avoiding the DPP. I noticed, and I'm just saying this time in cheek, when we had a national celebration the other day at State House, I don't know whether some of you noticed this. During lunch hour, the table that the DPP and the DCI sat was empty. No one wanted to go and sit at that table. But just sitting on that table on their own. The big people in government do talk about money and budgets. Didn't want to go and sit near that table. The DPP on his part talked about the new crimes that his team has been fighting. Transnational organized crimes have also increasingly involved economic crimes such as money laundering and cyber crimes, involving use of cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Litecoin, among other e-currencies. The leader said that the fight against corruption and crime has gone beyond Kenya's borders, calling authorities to have a transnational strategy. Some of the criminals we deal with uh, locate in countries or in regions um, not very far away from here. And they are able to disturb us and stress us. We have strived to ensure effective measures and actions are undertaken for the prevention, detection, investigation, and prosecution of crime in the region. The leaders also expressed their dedication to fighting corruption at a time when the country was feeling like government was doing nothing. DPP, I would like to urge that as government, we develop very strong political will to support prosecution institutions. We rededicate ourselves to building a stronger, united criminal justice system where all citizens of East Africa and our friends from across the region enjoy the shelter of impartial rule of law and the shared progress that comes with it. Stay with the Kenya News Channel for more news on this.